Assistant Creative uh, Studio here. Okay, um, now I'm going to show you how to copy the CD label design into a template that you can use to print it onto a CD label sticker. Okay, this is the example of the previously uh, video that I show you how to create a CD cover or CD label design using a Photoshop. Okay, so basically, um, you can use this elliptical marker tool here. Okay, so you can see normally the fixed size is 12 times 12 centimeter. Okay, so this one will use back the same fixed size here. So you can actually put it and you can actually get the, the exact size of the design here. Okay, so normally this part will be other color here. Okay, so we just copy here. Okay, so this is the example of the template that I created for, for my label sticker. You can actually see uh, one of my videos on how to stick the label sticker onto the CD itself. So this is actually the size of the label sticker itself. So I will copy that and I will paste it here. Okay, so it looks something, something like this initially. So you can see all the blue line here is actually the uh, what I call this the, the guide here okay so how do I create it okay this one is a, a complete one okay one here and I pull it down a layer here so we will create another copy so this one is ready uh, for printing okay so how do I create this template it's very easy actually you go to the file and click new okay so from here normally I will choose the centimeter or millimeter okay let's say centimeter okay so you have to measure the width of the label okay normally this one will be 13.5 uh, and height will be uh, 27 centimeter okay the res resolution keep it at 300 and the color mode will be CMYK which is used for printing purpose okay then you press ok so you actually get this kind of template okay so basically you can use a ruler to calculate where is the position of the the first circle here so let's say it's uh, about one centimeter from the top here so we'll use the new guide and put one centimeter horizontal okay and of course of course as you know the height is 27 cm so the other part will be 26 cm at the horizontal so something like this okay so of course um, of course you have to measure the the circle here okay normally let's say let's say presumable is a 12 centimeter so you add up to the 1 cm here will be 13 cm horizontal so now you know this is the position for the circle here okay let's say there's a 1 cm on the side here so you just add a uh, vertical one centimeter and of course um, as you know the width here is 13.5 um, right so you will you will be 12.5 cm on the what you call the right side of the the side here okay so something like this so so basically when you have the the circle here, a 12 centimeter circle that you place here, will something look, it will look something like this. Okay, just give you an example. Let's say I, I, I use a gray color and I use another layer here. Okay, it will look something like this after you position the, the circle here. Okay, so so obviously the this is this is just a, a presumption. Okay, obviously the. The line here should be something like this. Okay, something just something like this. Okay, that's why you have to use your your ruler to measure uh, the width. Sorry, I mean the side, the length of the the side here. Okay, so this is just an an example here. Okay, so next time you can put the design in the as per the guide here. So same thing for the, the other circle at the, the other part here okay this one I just show you the sample of the the, the customized label sticker you know that is available in the market this is normally the China 
uh, quality label sticker of course uh, in US or Europe they have the uh, every kind of um, label sticker which normally they uses A4 type okay now I just show you the standard um, uh, international paper A4 so this is a A4 size you make sure it's a 300 uh, pixel per inch and CMYK so normally in this scenario it's the same same thing that you 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 put the guide here okay you first uh, measure let's say two centimeter at the uh, upper part okay let's say this uh, uh, a circle here there's a one circle here okay something like that okay let's say I position it uh, uh, like that okay but normally we make sure we use another layer here okay so we can always uh, hide the layer here okay let's say we make another layer and and you see we can actually put let's say another circle is here and then we make another layer here so let's say it looks something something like this normally if three three uh what you call you can print three label in a a4 paper it will look something more or less like this okay in the market let's say you have this uh, uh label sticker so so all you need is just to add in the the guide you can put something like that like this okay something like this so you add all the uh, just one cm we just yeah you can just position something like this okay then you can add something like um, let's say we just put it randomly at 10 cm and we put this down okay then we create another uh, let's say 5 cm put this here and of course we will create another 20 cm should here and okay so basically let's say I have this uh, the design here that are ready to copy to this template here so I just control V to paste it so I just position this design onto this uh, this area here and then I reduplicate the layer and I pull this to this position and then I reduplicate again and then I pull this okay you can see why it's like that so I have to make sure this gray layer is below the all the design here okay so something like this okay so make sure before you print you hide all the gray layer here so now you already position uh, this design into the proper part here proper section okay so obviously you can also add the new guide for let's say 5 cm vertical okay so you can get the position like like here for example or another one uh, 10 cm here okay something like that okay and maybe another one 14 cm something like that okay so you can always uh, hide the extra here like that so it doesn't matter just this one is just a uh, guidelines okay you can see you position all this uh, accurately in the actual position so you can start printing it it's just that simple you can just press file and print okay and as you can see it's like that okay you can always go to the print setting and change it to the A4 size and you can use either high or standard quality but normally I prefer high quality for a better quality printing okay so we'll go to the A4 size so obviously this is one is the customized size for the China label sticker so as you know it's a 13.5 cm width and 27 cm uh, height 
so when I print it I also have to make sure I use the cut customize uh, printer paper size here so the customize I have to customize it to 135 millimeter and 270 millimeter width and height using the millimeter and high quality plain paper and okay so you see now I can just start print using a basic Canon inkjet printer so you will get it nicely printed okay so I think everything uh, is uh, quite fast and precise if you have any more question or anything you want to ask please leave your question in the comment section below and I will surely answer you okay thank you guys for watching and have a nice day